Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Achilles Saltas, President, Athens Democracy Forum. Thank you. Thank you, Simeon. Well, what is a um, Greek function without a bit of a Greek drama? I just had to do something to my Achilles heel uh, a few days ago, but I won't talk about my Achilles heel. I will talk about the Achilles heel of democracy. That's what we're here to talk about. Your Excellencies, Mr. President, Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen. Kalispera sas ke kalosorisate. So once again, we're gathered at this emblematic venue, the Zapio, beautiful venue, nestled between Parliament House, the Olympic Stadium, Temple of Zeus, all under the shadow of the ancient Parthenon to take stock of the momentous idea that was born here, that people should rule themselves. It seems a really self-evident idea, yet its application through history has been enormously varied and often troubled. I think I need not convince you that democracy is going through a turbulent period today challenged by populism, new communication technologies, enormous gaps in personal wealth, a shifting terrain of the political party system, and a sense of alienation and loss among many people. These five challenges are the central themes of our program, so masterfully crafted by Serge Maiman, uh, member of the editorial board of the New York Times. And that's what we're here at this seventh Athens Democracy Forum, to take stock of where democracy stands and what needs to be done. Our fundamental conviction is that democracy remains the only viable form of social organization, but that does not mean that it needs to say the same. On the contrary, as one of our speakers said recently, democracy should be a verb, a constant process of reinvention and revival. But are we really capable of that? Many of the great democracies are so polarized today that they seem paralyzed going through the motions of democracy, while the pillars on which our democratic institutions and governments rest, the judiciary, the free press, the marketplace, lose their credibility and stature. The optimists amongst us may see good in this. It's a necessary process of decay and the revi uh, uh, revival, they say. The pessimists, on the other hand, might see a decline into chaos, and tyranny. But we have a sampling of both optimists and pessimists among our participants this year, and it is our sincere hope that out of their debates and presentation, we may all glean a sense of where democracy is headed and what we need to do. The Athens Democracy Forum is becoming the nerve center of democratic debate inspired by the inclusiveness of ancient Athens. It is an ambitious mission, but one that we will embark on readily, especially starting this year under a new non-profit structure. We have established the Democracy and Culture Foundation that will dedicate itself on this forum, and of course continuing in partnership and in association with the New York Times. As you can see, our journalists are here in full force, led by our host, Roger Cohen, who will be moderating his trademark, our trademark, Global Conversation, uh, later this evening, just after President Donald Tusk will deliver this year's keynote address. And Your Excellency, we are truly honored that you've chosen our forum for one of your departing uh, speeches. Uh, of, of, as President of the European Council. Thank you very much for that. As most of you know, the genesis of this forum was inspired by the United Nations, the International Day of Democracy that we've just had, 
and Kofi Annan. So we feel privileged to have the cooperation of the United Nations Democracy Fund, always represented in this forum by its executive head, Annika Savile. Annika, you've been here from day one. Thank you. We have the cooperation of the city of Athens and its new mayor, Mayor Bakoyanis. Thank you for embracing the forum even before you took on this new role. We look forward working with you to make it, as you once told me, a meaningful platform for this great city so that the world can reinvent democracy. And of course, our publishing partner, Kathimerini, Alexis Papachelas, you remain committed to our mutual cause. I would like to take this opportunity to also thank all our sponsors. They're all here at the backdrop. In particular, the International Chambers of Commerce, who also chose Athens this year to celebrate their centenary here at the Zapion, and Facebook uh, for the second year. We're glad to have Facebook on board as uh, our headline sponsors. And our gold sponsors, EBRD, Hilton, and many others like Costa Novarino, Microsoft, Libra Group, Greek National Tourism, Aegean Airlines, most of you came with Aegean Airlines, and Mariana Vardinaganis Foundation, many, many others. There's 30 of you, and thank you very much. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to put your hands together and recognize the commitment of, of our sponsors. So with this, let me welcome you all, our audience. You make our hearts beat. Let, let me welcome you to the Athens Democracy Forum and to wish you a stimulating and profitable week.